What's going on, everybody? Spunk Nice No One coming to you guys with another video. Coming to you guys with some breaking news out of Philadelphia. So, the 2022 NFL draft is officially over. On day three, the final day of the 2022 draft, the Eagles made two selections um, with the 181st pick of the 2022 NFL draft. The Eagles selected Kyron Johnson, linebacker from Kansas, with the 198th pick of the 2022 NFL draft. The Philadelphia Eagles selected Grant Calcaterra, who is a tight end from SMU. Just a little bit of um, information on both of these players. Um, Kyron Johnson is the second linebacker the Eagles took in this draft. Of course, yesterday, Eagles selected um, linebacker Nicobe Grant from, excuse me, Nicobe Dean from Georgia. So they drafting Kyron Johnson today. And, um, you know, just another piece to bring in to add, you know, to add with um, Nicobe Dean. You know, uh, Kyron Johnson has a chance to possibly win a starter spot because linebackers, we all know, has been one of our weakness, you know, biggest weaknesses on defense. So, you know, he has a chance to come in and, if not necessarily earn a starting job, definitely earn special, uh, you know, um, some playing time, and you know, um, not just on defense but also on special teams. Of course, you guys know the way we run defense is a rotational hybrid um, defense that we run. So, Kyron Johnson definitely has an opportunity to come in here and, um, and, 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 you know, and possibly earn a starter spot right away. A little bit of information on Kyron Johnson. Like I said, he, is, um, he played his college football at, at Kansas. He is a linebacker slash defensive end. Um, Eagles will more likely use him more as a um, linebacker. You know, I, you know, I could see him possibly be a use in the edge from time to time. But he is 6'1", 230. 223 pounds um so kind of, kind of on the small side at the linebacker position but you know he spent five seasons at the university of kansas from 2017 to 2021 um in 2017 um uh in 2017 he had eight tack excuse me he had eight yeah he had um he played in eight games he had uh, 12 um solo tackles three tackle assists 15 um 15 total tackles um, in 2018 with Kansas he had uh, he played at 10 games he had 12 tackles six tackle assists 18 tackles total four tackles for a loss uh, he also had a fumble recovery that season in 2019 uh, his junior year in his junior year at, at the University of Kansas he played at 12 games he had 36 solo tackles 19 tackle assists 50 um Excuse me. Uh, 55 total tackles. Uh, he had 5.5 um, tackles for a loss. He had one sack that season. He also um, had uh, um, two fumble recoveries um, in, uh, during his junior year, 2019. In 2020, his um, you know, in 2020, he, um, he he played in nine games that season. Had 27 solo tackles, 15 uh, tackle assists, 42 total tackles. Yeah, uh, he had 4.5 tackles for a loss. He he, he had three sacks that season. Um, his um, his final year at the University of Kansas, 2021, he had 41 um, solo tackles. He had um, excuse, yeah, 41 solo tackles, 22 um, um, tackle assists, 63 total tackles. Um, he had he had 8.5 tackles for a loss, 6.5 sacks. And um, no, his total career during his I mean, his total numbers during his, during his college career: 128 um, solo tackles, 65 um, tackle assists, 193 um, um, total tackles, 22.5 um, um, tackles for a loss, 12.5 uh, sacks, and he also had um, he also had uh, uh, three fumble recoveries during his um, college career. So. Yeah, he was the um, Eagles 181st pick. Now, moving over to the Eagles 198 pick, the final pick of the Eagles in this draft. Um, Grant um, Calcaterra, um, tight end from SMU. Um, Grant Calcaterra, um, just some, you know, just a little side note about this guy. This guy at one point quit playing football and decided to come back and play football um, later on. Um, do, you know, here's some of the what I was able to find on him online. Um, you know, some of his strengths is he is a very good receiver tight end. 
He has decent bursts off the ball and gliding running style. Um, what stands out most is what stands out most about his game. He runs short, short routes and plants and drives back to the football on comebacks. He has he has very good hands, just enough speed to stretch it vertically. He um he one trick pony type, but this but his specialty is of course how tight ends are being used in the NFL today. Now the weaknesses on um um, um this on uh Castle Terry is he's not very advanced or a uh, effective blocker. He has the athleticism to be an adequate block in his face, but he has a long way to go. Stiffness appears after the catch, and he's not he's not a contested catch type. Older prospects who caught passes from Baker Mayfield while in um, at Oklahoma. So this guy, um, this guy played with Baker Mayfield at the, you know when he was at Oklahoma. So yeah, that was the Eagles' final pick there. I see him coming in being more of a depth piece possible. No, possibly depth piece. No, but chances are he will be a um, a training camp body. That's that's mostly what I see. Um, Calcaterra being. Now, like I said, Kyron, I definitely do think Kyron has a good chance to come in and possibly earn a starting spot because linebacker, as we all know, is definitely one of those positions that is a weakness for us. If he doesn't earn a starting spot, I definitely do think Kyron Johnson has the potential to definitely um, get some playing time his rookie year. So, yeah, there you have it. Eagles uh, on the final day, day three, the final day of the, of the draft, they drafted Kyron Johnson. Um, Linebacker from Kansas. He comes in um, the second linebacker the Eagles took in this draft after Nicobe Dean, of course, from Georgia. And the final pick, Grant Calcaterra, tight end from SMU. Like I said, I see him being more of a um, camp body, you know, possibly special teams um, piece for the Eagles in this draft. So, um, yeah. Uh, final draft, of course, first round Eagles drafted Jordan Davis from the University of Georgia. Of course, they made a trade and uh, brought in AJ Brown. Uh, traded, you know, traded for AJ Brown with the Tennessee Titans, signing him to a um, to a uh, massive contract um, worth 100 million, four-year contract, 57 million guaranteed, uh, 25 million a season. Then they, of course, um, later on in this draft, the Eagles uh, drafted um, Nicobe Dean. They, you know, they drafted Nicobe Dean in the in the, in the, in the third round. Then, of course, um, Kyron Johnson was drafted here. And then the last pick was Greg Calcaterra. Overall, I can't complain about the Eagles draft. I thought the Eagles draft was a pretty solid draft. On paper, it looks, you know, it definitely looks like a very solid draft. Um, of course, ultimately, we'll see what happens on the field. Rather or not, this is a good draft for the Eagles. We'll see what happens on the field during the fall. So there you have it. 2022 NFL draft is, is officially wrapped up. It's over. Looking forward to this season, seeing what the 2022 Eagles will look like. Um, Eagles still got holes they have to address. Um, Secondary was one of my biggest disappointments. I feel like we should have drafted at least one corner. I think the Eagles were definitely going to draft a corner, but I think uh, with the 150 um, four pick, the Seattle Seahawks moved ahead. Of, no, the Seattle Seahawks picked the player they wanted, so the Eagles traded back because of that. But uh, corner is definitely a position that we need to address still possibly sign somebody on a cheaper free agency um safety is also a position that is, is definitely a question mark for us as well that that is definitely a position that you no know, i wouldn't be surprised if the eagles address the free agency as well so we'll see what happens you know uh, in the next up and coming days of course a lot of these undrafted free agents will be signed and of course when they start signing undrafted free agents of course i will make videos on those as well but congratulations to all the players that were drafted by the Eagles. Congratulations to all the players in general that were drafted. You know, um, you know their dream of playing the National Football League has come true. Some of these guys are going to have to work harder than others to stay in the National Football League. You know, some of them, of course, will not. But, um, yeah, congratulations to all the guys just being drafted by the uh, by, by an NFL team. That right there is one hell of an accomplishment. So to all these, um, all these young men, Congratulations on being drafted. But as always, go birds. Smoking that's not one's out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.